Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a flourish animation in After Effects. So to get started we're going to open up After Effects. And I have created a file already for this tutorial, um, a little flourish image down in uh, Illustrator. So basically I'm just going to open that up and scale it and position it on stage for the tutorial. Um, so basically if you don't know what a flourish is, it's basically kind of a wispy line. It goes from bigger to smaller usually and it kind of animates to grow um, like a plant would, so kind of in a in a line. So I'm just going to zoom in here and you can see that I've kind of positioned this towards the bottom. So we're going to be animating this line to grow from this bottom part here that's off of the screen all the way around to the smallest uh, tip right there. So it's kind of going to animate in uh, a wavy line. So the way that we're going to do this is by first taking and grabbing our pen tool. Um, so we're going to be creating a mask over our shape. Um, basically it's going to be a path, but uh, technically it's a mask. So I'm just going to take and just start pen tooling around that. And it's important that you go in the order that you want it to animate. So basically you want to start at the fatter part and you want to end with the smaller part of your flourish. Okay, so it's not important that you get this exactly perfect, but you want to kind of do a fairly good job with it. So once you have this done, um, what you're going to do is go to Window and then to Effects and Presets. I have mine already opened over here, and what we're going to do is just search for Stroke. And you're going to go down to where it says Generate Stroke, and you're just going to drag that onto your uh, mask and onto your shape. So basically just drag it onto your, your stage there. And so basically what this does um, is it takes and puts the stroke effect onto your shape and then it also puts it onto the mask. So you can see right here that the path um, that it has selected is mask one, which is the mask that we created. So now what we want to do is basically take this color and grab our little color picker and just select the background color. All right, so now you can kind of see what's happening. And now if we take our brush size and turn this up, you can see that it kind of starts to erase our shape away. So what that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you have this brush size big enough that it completely covers up your shape. All right, so now what we're going to do is the fun part. So I'm just going to scroll this down, um, basically just opening up all these little pieces here. And we're going to go to um, make sure your playhead is at the very beginning. Click on the start stopwatch there. Go out to about one second and click to add another keyframe. And so basically now we have our two keyframes at 100 or at zero percent. So we're going to take our one that we have at one second and just scroll us up to 100 percent. You can see right there what's happening as I slowly do that. So now what we have over time is an animation of our flourish kind of growing. All right. So that's pretty cool. Um, you do have some other effects within here. You can take and change the opacity. You can change um, the brush hardness if you want the edge that it creates to be nice and crisp. You can turn that up. So you can add in more keyframes within your start um, in order to affect the speed at different points. You want it to go really fast right here and then you want it to kind of slow down. You can kind of add in other keyframes in order to do that. So you can play around with those things. Now there is a little bit of a problem um, with our flourish at this time. Now it looks fine right here, but let's say that we wanted to take and add a background. So I'm just gonna click down here, go up to layer, new, solid. We'll just add this blue solid right here. Drag it down to the background and now you can kind of get a better idea of what exactly is happening. It's kind of um, animating that black stroke over the top of it. Now if we click back on our flourish and we change the color of the um, stroke here to the background color we can basically fix it and have what we had before. Now the problem comes if I go down to our background and make it something that's not solid. So we'll just go to effect then generate then ramp and we'll just make it kind of blue so it kind of fits in with our overall scheme there. All right, so now you can see that if we just were to change the background, um, it wouldn't have that same effect as changing it um, before because you wouldn't actually have the gradient on the stroke that you're animating. So the way that we can fix this is by taking and selecting our flourish, going to paint style within the stroke settings, and selecting reveal original image. So basically what's going to happen now is um, it just completely ignores adding on the stroke and the stroke basically ask, acts as like, I don't know, a mask I would say. So basically it just goes over the original image that you're on rather than affecting uh, the background and actually putting something visible on screen. So you can see that we have kind of um, screwed this up. We're going backwards now. So what we want to do is open this back up and go down to our start and end points. We want to make sure that we have 
delete these, make sure that your start point is on zero, and we'll go down and we'll make our end points. Um, instead of starting, we'll change it to end so we can get the order right. Create two points like we did before, and then we want to take and just scale down um, this first point to zero. And so now when we animate it, you can see that it animates uh, perfectly fine now. So basically you're just switching your keyframes from start to end. And um, if you get them out of order, just kind of flip them around because it's easy to accidentally put zero on one of these and 100 on one of these. So if you get them backwards, just flip them around and see what happens. So um, now you can see that we have that working for us. All right, so one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, I can take and just delete off our flourish and our background. I have some stock footage right here from Video Copilot. Um, it's called, they have a pack on videocopilot.net called Evolution. And it's basically a pack of all these flourishes. So basically you can see some really cool stuff um, right here that they already have pre-made for you. So I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what you could create um, basically from this. So if you create all these elements within uh, Illustrator, bring them in on separate layers and then kind of draw a mask over each one of them, animate them separately. Um, you might have to do some masking if they overlay on each other, but you can get some really cool um, stuff going on like that. So I just want to kind of give you an idea of where this tutorial could take you um, because obviously just one line isn't super cool by itself but adding a whole bunch of them together with little leaves and flowers and things like that can turn out to be really nice elements uh, in your projects. So I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment and check back next week for a new video tutorial.